my name is Alexandra Kilov and welcome back to the feisty ferret business. Hi, I'm to myself, Balthasar. And with this today, I'm going to be introducing you to my boys. Sorry for the shaky camera angle, but they're being a little pains currently. <laughs> and me set the camera down. So essentially, because I said you'll be a little introduction about my boys, you know, their history, how long I've had them for, and all that. This right here is Pierre, so I guess we'll get started with you then, shall we? So, Pierre, it was called Turns 2 in September. I got him when he was still a little young from a breeder nearby. Um, I did originally have him with his sister, Gamora. However, he groomed me. However, she had some issues of coming into season early and I was reacting badly to her cuts and scratches and bites so she went back to her breeder. She's good now, she's all good, but, for, but Pierre stayed with me. Uh, I realised that I felt, I know some ferrets are fine on their own, but and he was doing fine, but I thought, you know what, let's get you a buddy, shall we? Shall we get you a buddy? And that's where Balthazar comes in. First of all, some close ups of my boy. If you hear something, it's the, it's the fan, by the way. As you can see, he's about average for a hob, I'd say. Pretty average, but you know. And here is Balthazar. Oh, with a bottle brush tail. What's with the bottle brush tail? So Balthazar actually is a bit younger. He was born April last year. Um, last year. So he's turned one this year. Um, as you can see, he is the bigger of the two, and he's also the dumb one of the two, <laughs> bless him. Um, he came from... So when I decided I wanted to get Pierre a friend, he I went to the nearest rescue, which was Fluffy Retreat in... I want to say Chippenham, but I, I, I could be wrong. <laughs> Um, but it's nearby, um, nearby Gloucestershire. And essentially, the lady that I met um, was lovely. We, she, we went through a video call beforehand to check out Pierre and the room. You know, make sure that the setup was all right. And when I went there, we essentially let Pierre get used to the room that he was in because obviously it's a new location. We went to the rescue and. Then we decided on like a likely what what sort of thing I wanted it. I was more interested in a younger one just so that it was closer to Pierre's age. Um, she asked me if I was okay taking one in if I had a medical issue, and I said yes. Um, and so he was paired up with Balthazar, which is the name that he, he had. I didn't give him that name. I chose Pierre, but I didn't choose Balthazar. Also, Pierre, what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing up there? <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, so we paired them up. They sort of hung out in the room for a while. They had some bonding. Um, they had some salmon oil. They played. They had a lot of fun. And we decided that he was going to be the one. So he does have a heart condition. I think it's like an enlarged heart, which doesn't normally cause any issues, but it is just a risk factor for future ailments you know but honestly you couldn't even tell he's um a very I, he's not let's say laid back but he is quite chill and a little bit stupid he, he's a little bit dumb unfortunately he struggles to um climb things because he just can't think it took him a while to get up onto a windowsill so you know he he's a bit dumb he's a bit dumb isn't he Pierre um, yes, I got so I adopted him back in February. Uh, obviously, he's been here for a little, a little while now, and he has grown into himself so much. As you can see, he's a beautiful like black hob with a milk mouth. Um, but but Pierre go. Oh, he's gone to his dessert box. <laughs> yeah, he's grown into himself a lot, and he is gorgeous, of course. <laughs> And he's very healthy, very beautiful. Look at that nose. Oh, gorgeous boy. 
But yeah, so that's the story of these two. Um, as for setup, so this is the sort of second bedroom that um, I have in the place that I'm renting. Um, they tend to dig up this door a lot, so I put this ottoman here and I come in to sort of keep them from scratching at it. I've got a big tunnel. Of course, I did have another one, but it got sort of broken while um, we moved. I uh, got a just bed sheet because they like it when you sort of do that, <laughs> as you can see. Don't know if you can hear the ducking, but yeah, they love doing it. They had a ball pit, which used to be somewhere in the middle, but I moved it here because he kept digging. Pierre kept digging up a wall there. Um, that's a cabinet that has sort of spare bedding, spare wheel, because I do have a African Bigby Hedgehog, who is very messy. Uh, that's just sort of spare bits and bobs, really. Most of the cleaning stuff, food, litters all up there. Cat carriers, you know. Uh, of course, toys littered around, including some toys from our very own business. This is the Rattlefish. It's part of the Under the Sea pack, which is available on my website, currently on sale until the end of July. Pierre's quite picky with his toys, so it's why I always test them out with him, because if he takes interest in them, it's probably a good toy. <laughs> There's also the, um, the Diangly Octopus. This has been a huge hit with ferrets it's gone i've got one pack in the netherlands i mean it's it's been very popular <laughs> but they also have just a lot of other toys i mean some of these are mine like this is like my fiance got me but it's been claimed by him now shrimp toy um a, a, a penguin this is actually harley my hedgehog so they took it Got some prototypes from um, testing my. We made a little Gryffindor um, squeaker and crinkly toy for Balthazar. Hello, my gorgeous. But um, yeah, so that's really it for these guys. Um, this is their room. This is them. Balthazar likes to go for the ankles. Found a toy. I'll probably do some more videos on these two, obviously, like maybe just like full on playtime, maybe some live streams of them. Whoa, what do you want? What do you want? What do you want? What do you want? But for now, yeah, that's these two. Thank you for watching. Uh, sorry for the chaotic camera angles and whatnot. But um, I hope you enjoy and I hope you'll stick around for future spirit content. Right, bye.